Okay, so then that brings the question, well, what about the mid-trib rapture group? This is telling you, absent from the flesh is present with the Lord. We know that scripture too, right? So let's go see, what about the rapture group? If we go in Luke chapter 23, we already have that answer as well, right? Jesus is on the cross. And what happens to Jesus on the cross where oh, I went too far? What happens to Jesus on the cross? Why am I going too far, too far, too far? I know it's this one. Oh, there it is. In Luke chapter 23, starting in verse 42, okay? We know that there were the, the, the two thieves on the cross, right? And in Luke, listen to what you hear. 23, starting in verse 42. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou come into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Hello. What do you think that means? Right? What about, oh, he wasn't baptized. Uh, he, he didn't get water baptized. He never had uh, all this remission of sin stuff. And he believed in Christ in that moment. You see, this guy never had the opportunity to live out the rest of his life to see if he would remain in Christ. You see, we got scriptures telling us that everywhere. But in this moment, he believed, he repented, the Lord knew it, and he told him he would be with him in paradise. Why on earth didn't he tell him he would be with him in the third heaven? Why wouldn't he be with him in the third heaven? Remember that? Second Corinthians chapter 12. The first group goes to the third heaven. The second group goes to paradise. The great multitude was caught up rapture goes to paradise. This is the pre-trib above the 14 years. This is paradise in the seventh year of trumpets. And this is the Lord in the typology saying, now the third time I am coming to you. Why didn't this guy get told that he was going to the third heaven? Because he never was baptized. He wasn't water baptized. Remember that? In John chapter 3. So he wasn't baptized. He committed his life right there and then. And he got to go to paradise. So are there people who have died over the last couple thousand years that weren't really in Christ? That didn't get to be like those who died in Christ to go to the third heaven, but died throughout the last 2000 years that believed in Christ, that, that called out his name, that repented there and maybe even before their death, that got to go to paradise? Absolutely. This is absolutely 100% what it says. Did he get a new body for it? What was the point of this body? Oh, he didn't get a body. That body was taken down, buried, right? There's no resurrection of the dead for this guy. He was going to be in paradise with the Lord at that time. So again, no resurrection of the dead necessary or needed here. And we, we see this all throughout, over and over and over again. This is explained and revealed to us. Even here, you go into Revelation chapter 7, where the great multitude rapture happens, and you see what? You see those that were clothed in white robes, those that were killed during seals, right, by the Antichrist, comma, and, you guys remember that whole story, comma, and, which means a separate group. So there's this group and there's this group, but they're there together as one. The ones clothed in white were the ones that died. And the ones with palms in their hands were the ones that survived and went to the rapture alive. The ones that never tasted of death for the rapture group. There's, there's no resurrection of the dead. This is the group going to paradise. You see, the third heaven and paradise are both part of the kingdom of God. 
none of which have a resurrection from the dead. The only group that has a resurrection from the dead is, of course, Matthew's group. Check this out. Let's go to Matthew chapter 27. It's been a while since I spoke on this, but you guys will remember this, those that have been around for a little bit. In Matthew chapter 27, sir, give me one second here. You'll remember that you find this only in Matthew's gospel. It's very important to understand these differences within the gospels. Listen to what it says. Okay, here's Jesus having died on the cross. And listen to what it says. In Matthew 27, starting in verse 51. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake, and the rocks rent, and the graves were opened, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose, and came out of the graves after his resurrection, and went into the city and appeared to many. Huh. Interesting that this is only in Matthew's gospel. Do you see the connection? Matthew, 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 Matthew. 